The movie starts with a scene set in a Spain at an orphanage where a group of kids, mostly orphans, are playing. Next, in the following scene, Laura, who used to be one of those orphanage kids, decides to return with her husband, Carlos, and their seven-year-old son, Simon, to the same rundown orphanage with the goal of rebuilding it, but this time for physically and mentally disabled children. Simon claims to have a friend named Thomas, a boy wearing a sack mask, and Simon draws a picture of him. Then, a social worker named Benigna rings the doorbell and tells Laura that she has a file regarding her son about adoption. Laura gets nervous about this and kicks Benigna out. Later that night, Laura hears a noise and follows it to discover Benigna in the courtyard of the house in a shed, but before she can confront her, Benigna flees. Then Simon and Laura are practicing a special kind of game that Simon's imaginary friend Thomas taught him. The game is actually a form of hide-and-seek, where whoever succeeds in finding the one who is hiding wins a prize of having a wish granted. While they were playing the game, Laura realizes that the file related to Simon's adoption is missing, and she thinks it's Simon's fault, suspecting that he intentionally hid the files. However, Simon denies this with sadness and tells Laura that his friend Thomas said she is not his real mother and that he is going to die soon. In the next scene, Simon's parents are celebrating his birthday, but Simon gets upset and argues with his mother, throwing the birthday cake on the floor. Laura becomes upset as well and gives Simon a scolding. Simon hides from Laura at his own party and goes off on his own. Later, as everyone is in the backyard enjoying the party and festivities, Tomas is seen. In another scene, as Laura is looking for Simon in the bathroom, the same boy with the sack mask approaches her. But as soon as Laura tries to remove the mask, the boy screams and pushes her in the bathroom and locks the door before running away. If you enjoy our content, please support us by subscribing or liking so we can recap more films for you. Then Carlos unlocks the locked door with a tool, but Laura quickly searches everywhere for her son. Next to a cave they had previously visited with Simon, she sees a vague image of her son, but it's like an illusion. At that moment, while in the water, Laura falls and gets injured. In the next scene at the clinic, a psychologist police named Pilar, to whom they have recounted the story, speculates that Benigna may have taken their son hostage. Later that night, while Laura is lying in bed, she hears a horrific noise coming from the walls toward the basement. Months later, Laura and Carlos coincidentally see Benigna in the city center, carrying a baby in a stroller. But as Laura approaches to talk to her, an ambulance speeds toward Benigna, hitting her and causing her death. Despite this, Laura quickly heads towards the stroller to see if the baby she was carrying is alive or dead. She only finds a doll wearing a sack mask like Tomas. The most creepiest thing is when she goes on Benigna's body, she suddenly gets her hand and then dead again. With this clue, the police search Benigna's house and find evidence including a film and a photo showing that Benigna had worked in the orphanage years ago and had a son named Thomas who had deformation and has a disfigured face. Laura then discovers that the children in the orphanage performed a trick that inadvertently led to Tomas's sudden and accidental death. Laura, unsure of what to do next in order to find her missing child, reaches out to a medium named Aurora, who tells her that due to a near-death experience, she could establish a connection with the spirit world. Carlos, unable to bear the situation any longer, decides to leave Laura and the orphanage. However, Laura, tempted to have a near-death experience herself, to uncover what happened to her child, contemplates whether she can eventually find him or not. She then sees the spirits of children guiding her towards a hidden door, leading to an underground passage, where she unexpectedly finds Simon, who had been wrapped in a blanket and is overjoyed. Laura tells Simon to think about what he would like to do when he grows up regarding the next Christmas or anything that would help the children's spirits move on from there. But as soon as the spirits disappear, Laura is transported back to the present and realizes that the blanket she had used to hold her son has become lighter, and her son is no longer in her arms. She notices that the wooden stairs to the underground have been broken and uncovers the body of a boy wearing a sack mask. As she removes the mask, she discovers that the boy was actually her son. She starts crying and mourning for her son. Realizing that when she had previously put metal bars inside the closet, it had trapped her son in the underground. And that horrifying sound she heard was actually 
must be the moment that he fells from the basement stairs. Laura then brings her son's body from underground and consumes all the pills she had prepared to either die with it or have a near-death experience to see her son. Laura's wish connects with reality, and suddenly the spirits of all the orphanage children reappear, moving happily towards Laura, and simultaneously her son's body comes back to life in her arms. Laura fulfills her desire to see her son again. Carlos places a rose on a grave next to him, which in fact belonged to Laura and Simon, because when Carlos returns, he finds both of them dead. He goes to their bedroom and finds a medallion he gave to Laura on the floor. Suddenly, a noise is heard in the bedroom, and Carlos smiles. The film ends. Have fun, but don't forget to subscribe and like. Love you guys. See ya.